Okay, so you finished the quick little mini course on how to select a MOSFET and capture CIS. Select the type of MOSFET you want using datasheet information and like a website like Digikey or Arrow, and then associating a custom footprint with that MOSFET. So I'll just uh, give you an overview of what was completed here and the process involved. So what you want to do is go to ORCAD Capture Library, to create a new project and choose the PCB board wizard. Then the library you would select would be transistor.olb and any other libraries you want. Typically analog.olb as well, but definitely transistor. You would then place a part uh, using the P command or whatever. And I just chose a GDS, gate train source MOSFET, but you can choose any type you want. Then when you want to find the MOSFET, right, you go to some website, your favorite, maybe Arrow, Digikey or whatever. Then you select a package type after you selected the specifications that you need for that MOSFET. But what's really important is you choose the specifications first to meet your need, then you choose the package type. Okay, now when creating the footprint, now that you know what footprint you want or a package type, you go to PCB editor and in the symbols search, go to uh, find your footprint and everything, and then you can edit the footprint pins. Once you've edited the pins of the footprint to make sure they're matches with the data sheet and capture CIS part, then associate the new footprint to the part in capture CIS, create the netlist, and place the new footprint onto uh, the PCB. And that is the overall process and that is how that works, okay? If you do have any questions, feel free to leave any comments in the uh, or questions in the comment section below for particularly challenging problems. Uh, that, that do not go well according to the video tutorials, you can email me at kirsch at learnorcatonline.com. And then also, if you like this sh short video tutorial series, then check out this longer series on how to use Capture CIS Lite and Lite software, how to go through electronics, PCB de design flow, um, and PCB editor Lite, how to route your PCB and all that stuff. This is a free playlist here right on YouTube. So check out this playlist. And the link is in the description below. Then if you want to go even more in depth, check out my Udemy course uh, that I published uh, a while back. And it's about ORCAT 17.2 and just um, the entire design, uh, electronics design flow process again with a second version of this circuit in the YouTube series. And you can also do some 3D modeling and you'll also get a bit more of an overview of ORCAD Capture CIS. In addition, I keep expanding this course little by little over time. I'm going to add new series and modules to this online course. So if you want more depth, you, you know, feel free to try this course out. And if you buy it and you're like, you know, hey, I already have all this information, you know, there's not much new here. You can do it and then do the refund if you're not satisfied. But I hope you'll be satisfied by the course. Okay. That's all I've got, and thanks for watching.